the another important topic in statistics is the level of measurement which we will discuss in this video what is level of measurement is level of measurement means our data set our information is measured on which level either it is initial stage or only just tells us about the name or is there some advanced stage or more advanced or the peak so level of measurements we have four levels of measurement in statistics on the basis of which we can differentiate our data set or classify our data set in these levels so uh, we have two types of variable which we discussed earlier categorical and numerical and we have four levels of measurement and these four levels of measurements are related with these two types of variables so the uh, we will start with the first level that is the nominal scale so here we are discussing about the nominal scale or the nominal level of measurement so what is the nominal level of measurement a nominal scale classified data into distinct categories in which no ranking is employed nominal is the least level of measurement in which we haven't any more information just the names are here like your name name of your classmates like the option yes no either you have your uh, personal computer or not uh, either types of stock on growth value other internet provider which internet provider you are choosing so here we just have the name these name does not tell us about anything else except their name so we need to improve this level by uh, some additional information like can i see the person who have uh, his or her own computer or pc is better than that person which is not having this pc or the computer so when we add the rank in this name information the level up and move towards the next which is the ordinal scale so ordinal scale is the second type of level of measurement in which ranking is implied ranking uh, ranking is implied means now we can see uh, if student class uh, like freshman junior senior so uh, the freshman junior and senior senior is better than this this like product satisfaction satisfied neutral unsatisfied so satisfaction is much better than unsatisfaction quality rank professor associate professor assistant lecturer so here we have some ranking students grade grades are also ranked like a b c d f so uh, when we include the rank in this nominal level means in addition to name we add the rank then the level becomes ordinal scale but still this is categorical this level is still categorical this gives us only information about the qualities about the characters we have in quantities here and we cannot say the professor or the uh, professor is how much better than the associated professor or associated professor is how much better than the assistant professor and you cannot uh, see uh, the quantity which Im employed her for the ranking so uh, in ordinal scale we only have the rank in addition to the nominal so nominal just tells us about the name and nothing more information here so when we add the quantity of rank here 
तो इट बिकम्स ऑर्डिनल लेवल सो ऑर्डिनल लेवल टेल्स अस इन एडिशन टू द नॉमिनल रैंक हेयर वी कैन से मिस्टर ई इज बेटर देन मिस्टर बी बट हाउ मच वी कैन नॉट टेल दिस हेयर सो वी नीड सम मोर एडिशन इन दिस लेवल सो नॉमिनल एंड ऑर्डिनल आर रिलेटेड विद द क्वालिटेटिव नेचर ऑफ द डेटा सेट सो वेन वी एड वन मोर पॉइंट हेयर द लेवल शिफ्ट टू वर्ड्स द क्वान्टिटेटिव लाइक इफ वी एड हाउ मच दीज आर बेटर इन क्वान्टिटी नो द लेवल शिफ्ट टू वर्ड्स द इंटरवल आर द रेशो सो दीज टू लेवल्स इंटरवल एंड रेशो लेवल ऑफ मयरमेंट्स आर रिलेटेड विद द क्वान्टिटेटिव नेचर ऑफ द डाटा सेट मीन्स हेयर वी हैव द क्वान्टिटीज हेयर वी हैव द नंबर्स हेयर वी कैन डू आर फाइंड द लेवल ऑफ हाउ मच सो हेयर वी कैन इजीली कैलकुलेट हाउ मच बेटर बट इन ऑर्डिनल वी कैन नॉट एस्टिमेट और वी कैन नॉट फाइंड द एग्जैक्ट लेवल ऑफ रैंकिंग सो हेयर we have two types interval and ratio which are the third and fourth level of measurement and applicable for the quantitative nature of the data set the important to note in these two scale is the zero point so zero point if we have the true zero like the mathematics zero means zero means nothing then the level is ratio but if we have zero which is not the true zero point zero means presence of object with the value zero then the level is interval and when zero means absence of the object with the value zero that is the ratio so uh, interval and ratio the difference between these two level is the zero point so if the zero is true zero or zero means nothing or the object is not exist like if i say the height of the pen is zero it's mean that pen is not existing that's why its height is zero or if uh, we say the paid person getting the income zero it's mean that the person is not doing the job that's why it's uh, his uh, her salary is zero so ratio scale means true zero in which we have the zero values mean absence of object or the absence of characteristic whereas interval means in interval zero means presence of object with the value of zero like the temperature we have the temperature rating 0 0 centigrade 0 uh, degree it doesn't mean that temperature does not exist temperature exist but with the value 0 so in interval scale 0 means presence of object with the value of 0 whereas in ratio scale 0 means absence of object with the value 0 where the zero is the true zero point so we can discuss the more examples here to clear the difference between interval and ratio scale like the temperature like the standardized exam score if the student appears and he can he or she can get the zero score so that is also the example of interval we cannot say if the student having zero marks uh, he or she is not appearing in the exam he or she appears in the exam but get the zero score height if the height of the object is zero it's mean that object doesn't exist the weight if the weight of the object is zero it's mean that the object doesn't exist so this is also the ratio age ratio salary ratio so a uh, ratio means the object which is having zero value is absent and interval means the object is existing with the zero values mean zero is some quantity to 
these terms. So this is uh, these two levels, interval and ratio, are reserved for the qualitative, for the quantitative nature of the data set, whereas first two, nominal and ordinal, are for the qualitative nature of the data set. In nominal and interval, we have only the qualities, whereas in interval and ratios, we have the quantities. We can do uh, analysis of the quantitative techniques and we can tell if the someone is better than the other, then how much he or she is better. We can compare, we, can, we have the numbers, we have the quantities, so we can compare and conclude these. So interval and ratio levels for the quantitative nature of the data set or the numerical nature of the data set, either it is discrete or the continuous depend upon the type of variable. Whereas nominal and ordinal are for the categorical data set. So categorical data set is uh, in form of tractors, in form of qualities, so we can uh, differentiate it apart. So this is all about the four levels of measurement, which we have for uh, two types of variables. And uh, we see the least is the nominal and the most is interval. So this is all about the level of measurements. Thank you.